Hey guys, it's Ashley and in my video today I'm going to be doing my first ever unboxing. I have here my Mothbox from the Mothbox subscription and if you don't know, Mothbox is a subscription, a bookish subscription service that Mercy Bookish Musings has put together herself and it's an every other month thing. It's usually a collection of uh, independent published short story collections and fiction and uh, this is my first time subscribing to any bookish box. I just adore her channel and I love what she reads and her videos and everything and so I wanted to support her and her endeavors so I'm really excited and I have my scissors over here so I'm going to go ahead and get to unboxing this guy. So I've just opened it and the first thing that's in it is this card on the front and I'm going to read you what the card says. This month's box features two fantastically inventive novels. Both books are weirdly dark and unsettling yet beautifully evocative. They offer distorted versions of our own world whilst commenting on contemporary social issues. The novels have completely different writing styles, but both delight in the strange and surreal. We hope you delight in them too. So I very much trust her judgment and based on this description, it sounds like it's going to be something that's right up my alley for both of these books. Uh, so something recommended by Mercedes plus a theme and style of writing that I like equals probably something amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and open the books that are in the box. So the bookmark with the first box says, Some days when he came to work, it was his shadow that went ahead of him. And this is from 100 Shadows by Huang Jungyun. I am so sure that I mispronounced that and I'm so sorry. So the book that that quote was from is actually the book that is the first one that I opened up. 100 Shadows by Huang Jingyun. Uh, looks like it's translated uh, from Zheng Yuan. And this looks really actually pretty short. It is about 146 pages. And so the description of this book says, in oblique hard edge novel tinged with offbeat fantasy 100 shadows leaves the reader to make up their mind as to the nature of this shape-shifting tale huang's spare prose is illuminated by arresting images quirky dialogue and moments of great lyricism crafting a deeply affecting novel of perfectly calibrated emotional restraint as well as keen social criticism this sounds kind of like haruki murakami and i am very into his books because they're really sort of distorting real reality, not quite magical realism, but sort of, like I said, like a distortion of our actual world. And so that sounds like what this is going to be. Again, really short. I am in love with this cover. This is just absolutely gorgeous. And it kind of has this cardboard feel, but it looks pretty amazing. And I'm just super excited because I feel like I'm just going to speed right through this. This sounds right up my alley. And so for the second book, we have the other bookmark and it says, she feels like she has been thrown into the air, and for the brief moment she is aloft, the earth has turned so that when she comes down, she recognizes nothing. This is from Little Nothing by Marissa Silver, and based on the first book, I'm going to assume that's what this book is, but I'm going to go ahead and open it, and I'm really excited because this quote is so beautiful. I actually like this quote better than the other one, so I'm really excited to open this guy. Oh my gosh, you guys, the cover game on these books are so great. This is Little Nothing by Marissa Silver, and this cover, can we just talk about it? It is so stunning with a great color, yet so simplistic. It is just fantastic. And the story of this says, in an unnamed country, at the beginning of the last century, a peasant couple longs for a child. Despairing, they turn to gypsy tonics and archaic prescriptions. In one cold wintry night, the couple's wish comes true, but the silence that follows the birth forewarns darker days to come. Strangers look askance and fall speechless in the child's presence, and villagers protectively hush their children as they pass on narrow market lanes. Pabla is no ordinary child, but then this is no ordinary tale. Woven throughout is the story of Danilo, a young man who sees beauty where others see ugliness, and who is obsessed only with protecting Pabla. Drawing from a rich tapestry of fables, fairy tales, and folklore, Little Nothing is a fantastically inventive, suspenseful, suspenseful allegory, and one of the most quixotic and constantly surprising love stories you will read this year. This sounds beautiful. I'm, I'm hooked. I cannot wait to start this. This has everything I could want. It has some serious uh, family and real grounded drama, something that will really tug at the heartstrings, yet still having this like magical sort of twist to it or this otherworldly twist to it. And this just sounds really amazing. I cannot wait to dive right into this story. And both of these are published, again, by independent publishers, lesser known 
Amazon publishers, and I'm just really excited about these. So here you have it. These are the two books that were in my moth box for this month. Again, first one is 100 Shadows. It looks like this is published by Tilted Axis Press, and the other one is Little Nothing, and this looks like it is published by One World Publications. Never heard of either of these guys, so that is very exciting. And a huge thank you to Mercedes for just being so amazing at this and creating this really amazing subscription box. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. Happy reading!